you have folks that are still, you know, in the industry, and they've been like, well, I wouldn't advise you to talk about it, blah, 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 blah. But I just, I think that they're living, you know, they're, they're all living in kind of a, a fake world. Um, you know, I would, you know, illegally naked short sell stocks every day. Every day. As long as I was collecting commissions. And the bank did not care. The client will send you an order electronically. All you do is you click on the order, you go to execute, it'll pull up a little box, you type in anything you want, and you just hit okay. You don't ask questions, you appreciate the order. And if that involves shorting a stock naked, you do it anyway. Because management essentially tells you just create the business. Anything on the backside, we will deal with. So you're collecting money on the front, you collect money on the back, and you actually have zero risk. Clients never see that. All the prime lenders, they all do it consistently. So in 2016, Goldman Sachs was charged with this clever new way of breaking the short selling rules. They have this whole team of people tucked away in a back office. When a client would call to borrow a stock, the team would use computers to automatically locate stocks they had in inventory. This is normal. You always gotta locate a stock before you loan it, because you obviously can't loan something you don't have, right? Well, halfway through the day or so, the inventory could dry up. The system would say, no more shares available, sorry. But Goldman was like, ah, fuck that, there must be a secret stash somewhere, right? So they'd say, we have reasonable belief there are leftovers we could locate. And they created a program where when you press the F3 button on your keyboard, poof, it overrides the dried up supply. That's it. Just hit F3 and the computer would say automatically located, even if it wasn't true. So you could do this as many times as you wanted, magically creating phantom shares that didn't actually exist. But guess who worked in the building right across the street? The S-E motherfucking C. So Goldman got caught and paid a $15 million settlement, which in normal person dollars is like, I don't know, like 23 cents. I was doing this and I wasn't even really kind of aware. All of a sudden when I was out and I'm sitting in COVID and David and I start talking, I'm like, oh my God, like this happens every, everywhere, every day. These people that are doing this have to be put in jail. So the question is, how can we exert pressure to force the Department of Justice and other people that have the ability to put people in handcuffs to actually do it? 